Hey, my name's Lewis Spears. Welcome to another episode of Terrible TV. I'm currently in New York at the moment chasing the dream, but that doesn't mean the video stopped, does it? Very special episode coming up for you guys. I'm joined by Isaac Butterfield and Frenchie, and uh, we are watching some television that is so bad, I need some backup to critique it. So this is the episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know who you want on the next episode. Here we go. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Terrible TV. Isaac Butterfield and Frenchie are here, and today, boys, uh, I thought you'd get around this, Frenchie. We're going to be watching some extreme cheap skates. Yeah, I'll get around that. You might get some tips, mate. <laughs> Bro, I'm looking at the title. I'm excited because I'm about to do some washing, so. Okay, so mum washes clothes in pool. But who, who are we kidding, mate? You wouldn't have a pool. No, no, no. no. Maybe, maybe but Frenchie washes clothes in puddle. Fountain. <laughs> puddle. <laughs> That's a dumb yeah. thing. Fountain. Puddle of pussy juice. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know. Tonight on I've been cheap since I was probably a little kid. She's been what? Cleaning sheets. I've been cheap. I mean, who the fuck hasn't been cleaning shit since they were a child? Why do you need to preface that? I've been cleaning since I was a kid. Oh, fucking bravo, you stupid oh, bitch. Oh, what a weird flex, eh? Hey? Fucking get over yourself. <laughs> Mate, I've been using the dishwasher since I was 17 years old. I'm a fucking expert. Mate, I worked out washing my clothes in the pool when I was 65, and I tell you what, it's changed my life. <laughs> I hope she falls in and drowns. My dad had a small business and he had to find ways to get through a lot of hard times. And the kids are in there! Oh no. <laughs> the kids are still in there. Wow, oh, that's the cleanest kids of all time. What? <laughs> but sh surely there's chlorine and shit in there, right? Isn't it good for your clothes? Is chlorine? It kills, chlorine kills germs. Yeah, but it also it? fucks your clothes up. You know, you're, not, you're supposed to, like, if you go in like a chlorine pool, you're supposed to wash your pants in the shower afterwards because otherwise it damages your pants. At least that's what mum told me. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, you are. Maybe she does like two like chlorine first and showers with him second. Do you reckon she puts on the entire family's clothes and then showers them? <laughs> and he showed me how to think outside the box. Went through some hard times and it influenced me as a child growing up to deal with how to be a problem Yeah, solver. there's three in the pool and her in her clothes. They must be like, fuck, mum's got the clothes in the pool again. <laughs> oh, no. You know what's... Not when my friends are around, mum. You know what's fucked? It's like one of two options. It's either chlorine's in the pool and she's destroying her clothes, or the pool is just filtered with like Dymo and her kids are gonna That's die. Just destroying her kids. <laughs> her kids probably have chemical poisoning, it's seeping into their skin. Mom, why is it every time we get in the pool we feel sick and start to forget things? <laughs> Shut but, up, you're clean, aren't you? Do you wash stuff in the like stuff in the shower sometimes? I mean my myself. No, but like Hypothetically, you've only got like mm -hmm. a couple things to wash, <laughs> or you got like a... clothes. Yeah, you put. No, I've never done that. Do you do that? Yeah. yeah, if it's like, cause some, well, like my soccer stuff, I will because I might oh, well, need it again in a day. Or... Anyway. I might need it in a day or two anyway. Like my skin, so I just wear them in the shower, I wash them with soap, underwear, often do too. Yeah. Why not? You know what I mean? I can either just. Have you ever worn underpants in the shower and then done a wee? <laughs> Not through the underwear, I'll, I'll poke it out the side. I've done a wee. You might as well just... You've, so you've put undies on and then pissed in the undies and then washed the piss out of them. Well, urine is obviously sterile and it, it mm. contains uric acid, which actually acts as a catalyst to clean things. So it's what they used... Kelly and went on the gadget. That's what they used That's a good excuse, though. That's what they used to use. No, it's fine. I was just cleaning those girls. In ancient Greece, they used to everyone used to urinate in this one area, or they mm. pour buckets of urine, and they used to wash their clothes in the urine. Right. Yeah. Isn't ancient Greece where they also used to fuck each other before they went to war? Well, what do you do before you go to war? Yeah, mate? What else are you going to do before war? Yeah, that's true. We grew up with that idea of just make it work. I'm doing my laundry in the pool because the chemicals that are in the pool are similar to the ones that are found in laundry detergent. Well, no, they're not, because otherwise, instead of... I mean, fucking chlorine, if you get it on your skin, your, it, your skin falls off. But the chemicals in the pool are also similar to the chemicals you find in the tap, being, like, hydrogen and two parts oxygen, being water. Water, yeah. But don't drink the pool water. Honestly, I think I'm on the other side of this. <laughs> I'm with her. Are you playing be devil? honest, I can see the benefits. Are you playing devil's advocate here? No, I'm actually with her. <laughs> but, but here's the thing though, if you've actually made a habit of only washing your clothes in the pool, 
you're just going to have the world's dirtiest pool and you're going to end up spending more money nah, to replace the water. Nah, pools just, they just, they, they don't get dirty, they're filtering in there. But you get to swim at the same time as washing your clothes. What do you do in a machine? Put it in, you stand there, you go, oh, I'm bored. Do you stand what? there watching your washing? Because <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't do that, I go up and I do other bits and pieces. <laughs> Frenchie like thinks if he, if, he does, if he stops washing the washing machine, it starts slacking off. He goes, ah, get back to work. <laughs> Yeah, I just see Frenchie just <laughs> pop around the corner and go, You still going? <laughs> you better be on spin cycle. They're found in laundry detergent. Running the washing machine costs money. This, it's going to be revealed that this rope is around one of her kids' necks. <laughs> it's actually a lot cheaper to run a family when you only have two instead of three. I mean, paying for a funeral is way cheaper than education when you think about it. And I wasn't going to drain her in the pool. <laughs> Running the washing machine costs money. Oh yes, she fishes them out. Why, why, washing clothes in the pool is weird. And I love, I love that her kids hate it. Like, it's pretty strange for for kids that young to know that their parents are fucking strange, because they're not. They're they're un, they're they will look all like under ten years old. It makes me feel like I'm in nineteen twelve. It feels like oh my gosh, when's Benjamin Franklin gonna come along and invent the electricity and all that? That's an interesting year to pick. <laughs> That's a great reference though, that's really... What are you to pick? 18, 12? Like, who's washing cool? Don't worry about it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she's, she's like washed her clothes in the pool and then she's hung the clothes over the pool. You gotta get the water back in, Lewis. What's wrong with you? Oh, no shit! <laughs> that's actually what she's doing. So the water will drip back into the pool. Dude, this woman How does she even level. do that? How does she even do that? She's a witch. How does she hang that one? Oh, true! They're hung over the pool. Where's she? Is she like nine feet tall? I couldn't do that. This could be an optical illusion, too. Yeah, I think it must be because I'm fucking tripping right now. Yeah, that's true. Although, if you look at this uh, bit of black uh, uh, clothing here, it mm. does look like that is closer to the children than the edge of the pool. Now, I am no mathematician, nor scientist, nor educated person, but what I will say is by my calculations that I've made here today for Lewis Spears' channel on, what is it, Terrible Tuesday's uh, te te tedious it's videos on TV, I, uh, I will say that I am in my mind right now searching for something hilarious to say oh, to finish off funny. this uh, ridiculous rant that I've started, but, but I have words. nothing. So, goodbye everybody, my name's Isaac Butterfield, toodaloo. Oh my gosh, when's Benjamin Franklin gonna come along and invent the electricity and all that? That's very good knowledge. Hang on, let me this Google something. This kid's smart as fuck. When it's was Ben around? Was it 1812? When? Oh, fucking, it's getting so many messages from fans. I get it, I'm the best. Is it about your recent monologue? Did they know about it already? <laughs> it's still this new form of comedy. <laughs> Where it's just, it's just 35 words, and then he <laughs> waits for someone else to say the punchline, and he goes, guys, Isaac Butterfield, <laughs> buy tickets to me show. I mean, dick stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin conducted the famous kite experiment in 1752. So this kid was like uh, 60 years off. Yeah. What a fucking idiot. Oh, Too you fucking moron. Oh, hey, lay off the chlorine, dickhead. <laughs> it's very expensive to maintain this pool, and I've done a lot of research to find ways to save money on it. How about wash your clothes like a normal cunt? In 1812, the United States declared war against Great Britain. The Civil War began in 1812. And as far as I recall from that era, many things took place. In fact, I think we can all agree, one of the darkest periods in the modern Just era... Just tag me in when you need a punchline. Keep going. ...began in 1812. And I think what this young man was referencing several moments ago was a dark period of history that perhaps we would like to forget, much like Frenchie's YouTube career. <laughs> oh, okay, was, he didn't need a bunch of That was a UA. That's very good. That was an unprovoked attack. Instead of using regular pool cleaners to clean our pool, we use baking soda. Baking soda is the same compound as pool cleaners. Baking soda is like 40 cents a pound, and the chemicals are like a dollar ten a pound. What the fuck is in the pool now? Is that kid dead? <laughs> is there bags? Are they they bags of children? <laughs> what is in the pool? That's a great question. Is she like washing her dogs? What is this? Uh, Isn't she single? A thousand percent she's Absolutely. a single mother. Oh, yeah. She's so single it hurts. 
She's got pouring fucking baking soda in the pool because chemicals are like a dollar extra. Oi, <laughs> if she's this cheap, what do you reckon she uses condoms? Fucking lab wrap or Milky Way wrappers? <laughs> <laughs> Milky Way, but only the fun size that she picks up for free from favourites boxes. A pool cover can range from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. I, uh, I wonder... Many things. But Nemo board. <laughs> Bro, Nemo board shorts, that's cost money. What the fuck she think? That is branded. Buy normal board shorts, paint a fish on. You want to save money. Mm. Should we blur that out? The Nemo? I want to test your editor out. Can we blur that out? Yeah, we can blur that out. A pool cover can range. We can also turn your head into an orc. And then we can turn Frenchie into... I already have a pretty orky head. Yeah, true. So what are you going to do with that? We might just... Just get a photo of Frenchie and put it over his face. Can we get everyone in my merch as well? Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, and then strobe lights. No, no, I've got epilepsy. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I do. I got it from my mum washing clothes in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> pool cover can range from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. Bubble wrap is extremely affordable. Covers the pool. I put it on at night. She's got a massive fucking pool and she's doing that much cheap shit. Maybe just get a smaller pool and you can afford. Or maybe don't have a house with a pool, up. dickhead. Just get a washing machine. <laughs> How about that? Yes. No, I'm too pull over washing machine. Yeah, true. Jenny's bubble wrap pool cover reduces the rate of evaporation and saves her approximately $100 a year on her water bill. She lives in a fucking mansion, So though. your house, Jenny, you fucking goose. That's got to be eight bedrooms, easy. That's two stories, and it's huge. Look at all these windows. She's got palm trees. Great windows. We've got a lot of ways to save money on stuff around the house, but it's the cost of running that pool, you know, that, that really... Did you save it. the cheapskate videos for me in your laws? Oh, absolutely. I was like, what are we going to do? I'm not cheap, I'm just unorthodox. All our cups were in the dishwasher and we then couldn't wash them, so mm -hmm. I started using the container you pour water into the iron. In. <laughs> to, drink, uh, to drink out of, yes. Why don't you just wash it all in the pool? Because uh, the pool's on like level five, we're level four. Mm. That's an effort. I walk to the iron, I'll get the cup. Iron. The cup. But in fairness, you didn't know it was the iron's cup until I told you. I'm just saying, like, it's not often. I don't do cheap things, I just do unorthodox things. Next one's discount wedding. And uh, gonna, gonna get a few tips. The Unclaimed Baggage Center is like. The mecca of lost and found. Maybe we can find you some golf equipment. Dude, they've already cheaped out on teaching her how to speak. Maybe <laughs> we can find you some golf equipment. How about that? Maybe we can find you a speak for all of that. I can't believe I fucked up speech. Also, it's checked out on teaching Isaac how to speak. Speech pathologist. So maybe, maybe you can get a couple of tips from her, and then from there we could teach you really. I swear my tongue's too big sometimes. I try and say words. Speech pathologist. <laughs> if you find a damn wedding dress down here at this place, they gonna have to have a tuxedo too, and we is on. I drop down and propose to you right there, cause I'm sure we can find a ring. You know when they play Australian people in America and they put subtitles on it? Mm. These two need fucking subtitles. Mm. I got a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Oi, that is so sick. Is that a real place? Why don't we have that? Unclaimed baggage sounds fuck off. That's like a fuck off op shop. It's a great good. Because they're rich enough to fly, so you know they're gonna have some good shit. For sure. We fly. Yeah, we got good shit. True, we're rich. What are these pants cost you? 10 bucks. Yeah. And they were new. They were new. Oh, I guess the same, I don't know. Right. Oh, yeah, that was 10 bucks. We got that the other day. So, potentially, yeah, if you lost your baggage, you could probably maybe get 10 bucks out of it. Well, no, I'd, French I'd, be, I'd be wearing it. There's no way I'd be putting checking this stuff in. So maybe, it's gold, baby. And you can't really sell the plastic bag that he uses carry on. <laughs> What's in your bag? In my bag? What's in your checking bag? Mate, just fucking merch that I gotta sell to people. Bluespears.com slash merch. Go to Discount Wedding. No, go to, what's the fucking store called? Discount. Baggage. This is what's in my carry-on bag, my check-in bag. Of course you've got a fucking flag, dude. <laughs> of all the cunts you know, who, would have, who does shows, you would have a flag. Because I am the king. The pirate king. Do you even use that during your show? I've seen it. You don't. No. So you just carry it with you. Never know when you need it. Well, <laughs> you got your use out of it, hey? <laughs> Best $200 I've ever spent. Just pay for itself. 
Samantha, we're looking for engagement rings. I'm looking for a $75 diamond ring. Can you help me? Now, we're going to have to come off the pocketbook a little bit for a diamond ring. Dude, a $75 diamond ring. Maybe a plastic one. Fuck it. I, I thought that was a good deal. I was on that. <laughs> I was like, if you can get it. No, you're going to ask for the cheapest first. You're not yeah. going to start high. But I don't think you can even start at, a, at like $500 for a diamond. Isn't that like the minimum? Just get a heap like of blood diamonds. They're cheap, aren't they? Uh, no, they cost lives of children, actually. We're talking the blood diamonds. cash, not children. Oh, true. They're not in the West. No one cares about them. <laughs> <laughs> that one might get cut. Oh, no. We'd have to have this one resized. Well, let's keep your options open because just about everybody has to have their ring sized. Sizing that cost, and then if you add that into the price, then we really didn't get that good of a deal. Yeah. Let's check out this price. $196.99. Wow. Oh, that is nice. Oh, and it looks that like a little crown real. on my finger. $197 US. $200 and what? That's $46 like Australian. About that. Pretty good for a diamond. Pretty fucking good for an engagement ring. You're supposed to spend, what, four, three months salary on an engagement ring. Which for me is, what, $350 grand? So... <laughs> <laughs> For this bloke, 250 bucks over three months is what, $75? Mm. I don't think he has a job, but... No, he mustn't. So, I think he's spending more than three months salary. No, he's spending three years. <laughs> you have wedding dresses here? We do. Wedding dresses and men's suits are just on down the aisle. Okay, thanks ladies. Okay, all right. Who the fuck? Look at that look, he's so angry. He's like, oh, fuck. But who loses a wedding dress at the airport and then goes, oh, well, like... No, no brides, because what do they need it for? They get married, they jump on the honeymoon flight the next day, they're yeah. like, fucking catch you, can Yeah, true, but I don't know if you would be packing your wedding dress to the honeymoon. What if you get married at a destination wedding? That's true. Mm. So then, so then, like, well, then that means that a bunch of, like, brides just get married in, in like, just the singlet that they took for the Bali holiday. <laughs> they fucking lost my dress. I guess I'm wearing thongs. Oh, my God, it's a tuxedo in here. <gasps> oh, that is my size. 42? Yeah. 55 bucks for a tux? You can't beat it. It's probably just a showpiece. It's not we for sale. We need help. It has a fucking price tag on it. He's like, hey, it's probably not for sale. The dress is $230. $230. Mm -hmm. This one's 49. That's really nice. Has a train. <laughs> He's doing the, doing the numbers in his head, he can't believe it. $249, that's seven years work. Dude, this guy is is potentially walking away with a fucking wedding for like under a grand under and a he's grand. like, I don't know how I can afford this, it's gonna send me broke. Shouldn't have got married, mate. Yeah. If you can't afford groceries, don't get married. That's far motor. I'm still. Uh, I mean, where are you planning on wearing it? Well, who are you planning on wearing it at the wedding? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a very specific occasion. It's in the name of the dress. You were going to go to the Justice of the Peace. Well, what if we did a wedding here? The state of Alabama is home to nearly 13,000 churches and countless ordained ministers, two of whom work at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. This is fucking sick. He's like a rom com right now. This so maybe they're, they're not even buying anything. They're just paying the guy to marry them, then they're going to take it off and run. Bullshit, they're actors, surely. Surely. It is America, though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, something's going on here. Like, they're wearing jewellery and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, it doesn't yeah, seem like I'm they're... Yeah, I'm Isaac. If you're spending, like, this amount of money on a wedding, your big day, and she doesn't look like she's looking at the teeth. They're white as... Yeah. I reckon this is... I reckon it's all set up. I reckon it's all fake. I mean, How did they know to film them? Or did they ring up TLC going, oi, we're That's about to go to the store and buy it? Nah, these are all like just dress. like, they're all like, um, Jerry Springer shit. Yeah, they're all cast. They're oh, all that's cast real. Shows. Jerry Springer's real. No, they're cast. Mate, Jerry Springer's not real. It is real. No, it's, no, it's not it's Israel. It's fake. Next year we're saying wrestling's <laughs> fake, bro. <laughs> that's real. Porn's real too. You may now kiss the bride. It's not what I envisioned for us, but Hey, that's my baby. She got what she wanted, and I'm happy. I think we've learned a lot today, boys. Porn's real. Porn's real. The pool's uh, the best place to drown your kids. <laughs> and Frenchie takes a plastic shopping bag to the airport. Yes, I'm not ashamed. Mm. And thanks Pat for joining us, because we've learned a lot of things today. 
And Isaac's amazing at long sentences, but not too good at English in general. Uh, Parlez-vous français? Uh, Je m'appelle Isaac Croissant, monsieur. Um, Guten Tag. Yes. Mein Name is Louis Spears. Mein Geburtstag is am um, 6 in January. And she your second language, you know. Frenchy? Um, hey, let's go back and slap on the pokey's bra. Who's that, Shady? Yeah, that was, that was just full bag. Ichi ni sanshi go rocket nana hachi hachi hananaju. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you check out Frenchie's channel and Isaac's as well. They'll be in the description. And uh, see the boys on tour. They'll be doing shows around. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was Terrible TV. I'll see you cunts very soon. Oh, just got demonetized. All right, that's the end. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and uh, check me out on Instagram as well if you want to follow my trips in New York. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff for me uh, reacting to the insanely different culture they have here so check it out at Lou Spears and make sure you check out Isaac Butterfield's new comedy special which is going on his website very soon and Frenchie is currently on tour so go and see these boys live watch Isaac's special Frenchie has a bunch of stuff on YouTube as well check them out they're great boys and I will see you guys very soon with another video